Okay guys, for this game, nothing too crazy. It's our first steps in Emerald. So we're gonna see what mistakes we can punish in Emerald Elo. I'm not doing anything insane. I'm just playing on fundamentals. I still do a couple of mistakes, but at some point, like even being kind of even in kills, just because we played the map so well, because the play we played the turrets so well, we're having a big lead and we're able to just bring that lead to Nash to a clean win. So just a decent, well-organized game, fundamentals, macro. Hope you enjoyed the video. Much love. Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. We are still playing on the Unrank 2 Masters account. Uh, we're in Emerald MMR so far. We're 20 or 21 and 3. So hopefully on my journey there, I've been able to give you keys to keep climbing from silver, gold, plat uh, to upper brackets. And now we're going to see in Emerald, what can we punish? What are the mistakes that people do there? But regardless of the mistakes, we're still going to do the same exercises, the same shit find them and punish them so uh first one doing the thinking senna soraka insane scaling uh really hard to uh, get out of lane through poke or anything uh it's only vulnerable to big all in big engages and i'm seeing that they have mf blitz so it can snowball for them for enemy team and if it doesn't the scanning is for us 100 now i'm seeing already that my mid laner is a scaler and he's facing someone who kind of wants to snowball as well or i go with just like not match the scaling from cassadin so my whole bot side is looking to scale up and even zach zach is a good scaler uh so that's something good for us we know that if we're even we're winning if we're behind in early well it's supposed to be like this and as long as we don't fall too hard behind, we should be fine. Um, let's see what other info could I take. Yeah, I feel like the the game, the game is as if we survive early. Just chill. As you wish. It's gonna be the whole ID and actually Zach could look to gank top if he wants to. Minions have spawned. Uh, uh, we can come out. Oh. Just yeah, because we want both, we have is your information on what happens top. So. I'm just going there. Maybe I'm even dropping a ward because maybe they have a ward there and Vi is going to do one camp into red buff. I've lost games due to that, so it's not going to happen again. That's for sure. Okay. Um, so. Let's see. Into volley. Uh, I still don't know what spell he started with. Like to know. Okay, I know now. Well, he has the push and he's gonna have the level two, which is well very normal in this matchup. Now there is a few specificities that you need to know, and I will explain them while going through the laning phase. Uh, basically, you can almost always force him to push into you, like. Everything he does is AoE, even his passive. Uh, you most likely want to go for short trades. And, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Went for short trades. Uh, something that you want to try to do is buffer your auto and E away on his stun. Like, he's going to stun you. Like, what, what they're going to do? Like, they're going to put their zone, which is, I don't like, the W probably. Then they're going to look to... EU in the W to stun you in the W or in the zone so you get like the whole the whole combo the whole damage and what you need to do is this exactly you see auto E away so he gets the whole damage and I don't get hit by the zone and it's just winning for me oh, 
I was just prepping Zex gank. Oh, he should have let that kill to me. It's bad that he gets it. Now he's just sharing XP. When I was actually solo killing. It's whatever. Okay. Um, we're starting pretty well. I still don't have info on Vade though. Most likely she started bot just according to the leashes that we saw. But I'm still not like 100% certain. So I will observe whenever Zek goes on a scuttle. I will see if the scuttle is still up or not. Uh, okay, well, we see Vay now and we press tab. We count her CS. She has 28, so it means that she took uh, every single camp plus scuttle. Um, so, yeah, Zek could, could even look to invade here. Could look to invade or gank. I don't know where he's looking mid. Uh. Okay, so my idea is that I don't want to go for all ins Because I don't want to give him cues when he marks me. Like his cue is going to mark you and if he cues you again and you're marked, well, he's going to heal a lot and deal a lot of damage. And he's going to have pretty strong traits. Well, I, I just saw that my W was coating something or someone and then it wasn't, so it just makes sense that he was basing in the bush and if he was doing that I would probably look to clear the way fast so he loses at least a bit uh, I'm gonna drop some vision because well now I know that it's likely that Vi started top and is going top again Okay, I was not sure about her using flash or not, but... Now I am. I see that Echo is coming, so I'm not gonna greed. That's good enough. She lost a lot of time. But what is Zach doing? Zach is not playing the game, what the fuck? He's so slow at everything. Here's the auto E buffer that they talked about. Stop his perma free. I will not freeze here because there is a chance that Vi actually went straight on grubs. Yeah, she did. I have a ghost advantage. So we just ghost, get his flash. But he doesn't have flash, so... Oh, bro, I hate my jungler. It's <laughs> just like the way he plays, like his giga insecure. And just actually the fact that he called me boss early, I actually don't like it. Like he just like puts himself in a posture where he's being dominated, you know? Like he's, he's not the one making his decisions. He's not... He's so bad. This is so bad. Everything that he does is actually bad. It's okay though. At least we have a jungler that's here, that's playing the game, that's not AFK in base. And I should be grateful for that. Okay, well I don't think I can dive him. From full HP, especially because it's gonna get level 6. So, what I can do is go for platings instead. I think he's gonna clear the whole way before it reaches the turret, so I'm not scared of losing a plate. And now I can base and spend some gold. I could have maybe stayed for one more wave. Nah, it's a cannon. I was thinking maybe staying for one more wave and then being straight up a, a Kraken Slayer. By the way, the reason I went for Noon Quiver 
before boots is uh is because like i'm not gonna have a hard time hitting the volley actually it's permanent meta range so what i need is damage whenever i hit them uh i could freeze so you often hear that you need like force yes in order to freeze i'm gonna show you like you can freeze with this all depends of how far you bring it like if i bring him to this side now the way he's made in the middle of the lane but he has extra push power or well, then it's a freeze you don't don't need for you need for make sure that you get a freeze anywhere on the lane basically better general id and now because i froze he had to walk up to go for cs i was able to punish make him use ult now I can look for a dive and fades. I'm waiting for the mark to fade. As I said, he's gonna heal if I don't. I don't know if she ulted for me, but if she did, it was, well, really bad. Why would you ult for a freedom here? Soraka. It's okay, though. Hey, okay, use TP. Deck. We can win the game. Stop. It's perma. I am actually gonna mute because from what I've seen I don't trust my teammates and I will make my own plays my own calls so I don't think you should do it the way I do it uh, probably the best thing to do regarding like muting not muting etc is that you mute people one by one if they use the chat in the in the wrong way or if they do like they give you basically good reasons mute them you know but you never mute yourself defen is so so bad like i don't even understand why defen is in the game like you're you, you're like you're an adult you know if you don't want to use chat you can just prevent yourself from using chat Or do you actually need the game to not allow you to use chat and that's the only way for you not to use chat? Like, I, I don't I don't get this. I don't understand. Just like... Dancing around the camp and not doing anything yeah i really didn't expect echo to, to be there to maybe if i didn't mute kassadin i would have things use possums for that at least give space and volley still dies at the end of the day or he's gonna end up if he doesn't die it means that He's pacing right now and he's gonna lose his whole turret, so... Anyway... Um, so he based most likely, doesn't I dive him, and if he does, well we have 5 grubs, so... And I have Demolish. Boom. Now, because I still see Vibe bot and I saw Echo bot as well, I can look to prevent him access from the lane. So I keep him very far behind. And there is a chance that he just went around. And in that case, I would just chat in my base. So if I see him, yeah, exactly. I have a good play because I can just base for Kraken. And if I didn't see him, well, I still had a good play because... Um, I mean, if you went, if you went through me, well, then I have a good play because I can just cancel my base and kill him.
That's the ID. He already has Nash of Tooth. But like, how does he have an item? Two plates and CS, I guess. He has zero boots. Like, I'm still like way, way ahead. I should have probably ganked my own lane. So weird that he walks that aggressively. Well, as I said, like, we're scaling as a team and we're not too far behind. So, this is looking really good so far. Okay, I need to be careful for Echo because Echo has been perma roaming. Okay, same mid channeling a base up using my Kraken. Two autos on the minions. One, two. She keeps ulting me. Don't ult me before my. Oats. Thank you though, but it's bad. We have there. Five sec. Um, this is most likely still worth it. I mean, I give a shutdown and a kill and an assist, but I get T1 with plates. My team gets Drake. I give space, I'm the one like tanking the gank. But yeah, I should have been like just more aware. Bro, like she, she has this. Yeah, I, I like I realized that maybe someone could be coming, but I didn't realize that she already had her item and she was pretty strong. Now we can look to death this. Okay, next wave, and then I'm moving. <laughs> He's so scared of everything, man. You have your passive, you have Giga Petrin next to you, you even have your support coming. So scared. I mean, I guess I'd rather have this than the opposite. Probably, maybe. Possibly. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see. No objectives for 3 minutes and 44 seconds. 34 now. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold on my Herald for that long. I see that there is sort of a fight going on. I see almost everyone on the map. T2 is 1k gold, basically. I didn't want to ult. Bro, that last turret shot dealt so much damage. Uh, yeah, I wanted to see maybe I could I could take the turret without ulting and then still have my ult. But it was a bit too greedy, I guess. Uh, it's still really fine. We almost get um, tier two. I get the gold for Navori, and I think I'm working on rage blade. Yeah, I can stack rage blade pretty easily into this guy. This guy, this guy, and this guy kind of. So I think which base is really good here. So I'm gonna do a path thing now. Like my goal is still to get resources. Um, so my idea is that this is gonna give a ton of gold. But on my way there, I'm gonna do these, this, maybe red buff even. Okay, um, Zach doesn't need gold to function. If my jungler was a Karthus, I would take zero camps from him. My jungler is a Maokai or a Zac, he can function with very low gold. And my champion needs a lot of gold to function. So, I would actually... I mean, uh, I do believe that this is shit. Oh, 
But I'm just gonna use the fight as an excuse to get the whole wave, I guess. <laughs> That's gonna be my play here. During that time, the wave was pushing to me, so they lost way more than us. So I was able to take uh, golems, red buff, mid wave, scuttle. And now I'm pushing. And looking for T2. And either I take T2 and rotate straight to Drake, I actually stay there. Could depend how they match how they match my pressure. Probably worth it. I am your worst well, the thing is the turrets uh I killed very easily. I don't think that's the play for you. Okay, but now can I get, but, but now can I get R after ult? It's whatever. I still get the kill and the turret and the fact that the jungler is here, so it's free drake. But if I get, if I get the Soraka ult, I can actually kill the Vey as well and maybe we can even look for Nash. Okay, well, I guess we don't get Drake. Uh, let's see. Rage Blade is pretty good, but this is pretty good as well. And I just have a better feeling for that right now. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, now we turn. Okay, and now we Nash. Yeah, that was the idea. So the jungler was bot. So we can threaten to just take Nash. And if they don't come, well... Well, we just have a smite and they don't. And if they do come, well, we can turn and win the fight. Because I'm feeling pretty strong with my items. No one really matches me. And I kind of have only supports with me. Even if Senna is not like a support support, like she still has movement speed buff, healing, TC. It's like three supports with three in the mirror. So I felt pretty confident here. Go for that. Oh. Yeah. I understand you want to wait the last moment. I did that on Tito as well. Can't blame you. Should probably not base here. But I swear I'm gonna come back fast on the map. I'm saying that I shouldn't base here because look at that. Now my team is pressuring. And where I am? Where am I? Here. Pressuring nothing. So. I guess the only reason why I would be able, like, it would be okay for me. Base. I mean, first it's because like I have a spike, and now I'm not planning on basing for quite a long time. And also because I killed Echo, so it's not like there are four v five on the map, you know. Um, bot is pushing by default, so I can be patient. I can look for something here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that they were gonna engage.
So I'm there for the engage and then I can be bot to take more because I'm not sure if we can hand here. Oh, I think actually we could have. No, we couldn't. My fault. My intuition was right here. They're spawning though, we cannot play for our inhib. It's enough. Okay, we play for Drake in a minute. Just playing things that are strong in terms of stats. Zeal is a pretty good power spike by itself. Vamp Scepter, why not? Never bad to have some extra healing to be able to sustain and stay longer on the map. Just gonna give red buff to everyone and then uh, go on that Drake fight and I think we we'll just kill everyone. They're probably not going to be contesting, so maybe I actually go kill Voli. Or maybe I ignore Voli. Yeah, I don't want to get baited where like sh he actually pushes and then he stops pushing and that's when I'm basing and he just makes me lose a ton of time. The waves are gonna push to them by default because look at how stronger our minions are. Waste damage to minions. Reduce damage from minions. Yeah, you are not safe. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. First steps in Emerald, kind of. Going pretty well. Yeah, I think I'm going to post this one. Because I took some important decisions. It was actually like very low kills at some point. At 20 minutes, it was like 5 kills to 9 kills. Uh, but still, we built a pretty big lead by making the right decisions and paying for the right things so yeah I'm, i think i'm posting it so if i did post it guys thank you for watching it next video is going to be tomorrow same time same place till then take care of yourselves guys good luck and have fun in game and in real life i'll see you next time peace much love bye 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 guys <laughs>